So now in this video, we're going to look at a, another uh, parallel uh, circuit here. And um, we have an LED here that's going to light up when I press the button. This LED is also going to light up uh, instantly when I press the button because we don't have any resistance here. Capacitor will uh, charge instantly and uh, that LED will uh, light up instantly. So we got two LEDs light up instantly when uh, I close the switch. The difference between the LEDs is that thanks to uh, this capacitor right there, this LED right there actually fades off when I release the switch right there. So we got uh, one LED turns off instantly with the switch and the LED that fades off instantly when I uh, release the switch. And now we uh, will zoom in to the schematic there. So you can see we have a switch. We close the switch, we have a couple pads. First off, right when we close the switch, that LED lights up. Also though, while we close that switch, we also have a capacitor that charges as well as, because it charges basically instantly, as well as a load over here. And uh, you know, even with the 1000 microfarad capacitor, you should probably have like a little resistor right there. So you don't get as high of a current uh, flowing. Um, but I think we're okay with the 1000 microfarad uh, right there. Any larger value capacitor, especially uh, when the voltage goes up, you'd want like a resistor to uh, limit the current a little bit, but you still want the capacitor to charge about instantly. And at the same time, we're gonna have power through the load there. Now, the uh, diode is for when we release the switch. Without the diode, the capacitor will discharge through both LEDs. They'll be half as bright as that one was by itself for half as long right there, because um, we're drawing uh, twice the power out of uh, the capacitor. And um, so, any case, the uh, capacitor there stores a charge. We open the switch. It cannot go that way thanks to the diode just through that LED right there. That LED lights up based on how much uh, capacitance we got right here and also the voltage that we charged it to. The voltage that we charged it to, we got 5 volts. We're going to lose about 0.7 volts approximately, probably about 0.6 volts, but uh, uh, in that range right there. So we're only going to have like 4.3, maybe 4.4 volts. If we're lucky, 4.5, because that current does kind of trickle through. Um, but in uh, any case, we're dealing with a little less voltage. So this is just kind of a demonstration uh, circuit to show the basics of uh, taking uh, one uh, signal. In this case, a signal can provide power right there. And splitting it up right there uh, to where um, one input does not affect the other uh, input. And um, so you can use diodes for that. You know, there's many different ways you can do this. Uh, now, the LED, as I said before, over here is dependent on how much charge is in the capacitor. So that's its capacitance, 1000 microfarad here, and um, you know the voltage that you apply it to. Instead of you know powering the load directly, we could have the capacitor send a signal to a transistor. Tell the transistor to turn on, even at a lower voltage, um, it can turn the transistor on fully. That's very easy to do. So the load in this case would have 5 volts across it. And also, the transistor doesn't draw as much current, so it can maintain that 5 volts for a you know, long period of time before it also uh, fades off. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, but in case, yeah, that's about it right there. We'll look at the uh, actual uh, circuit there. Um, so I have these, uh, this is a simple circuit, I'll explain a little more, these, uh, I forget what, header pins right there, and uh, I just put them to the same supply voltage, and each pin is separate though, and uh, the alligator clips to like both of them, holds them pretty good, and then uh, little jumpers that uh, take power from uh, one side, the positive there, and makes the other side positive, because um, these are uh, separate unless you use a jumper to uh, connect them together. So yeah, there's our switch. We got the top to the positive. Now these switches, top two pins are always connected, push button switches, bottom two pins are always connected. You gotta put them in the right way, but if you try to turn it sideways, it, the legs won't go into the board. And also, this kind of uh, pops out of the board too, especially uh, when it's new. And, uh, and more especially if you got a higher quality board because the metal in there is tougher, it doesn't uh, form to the, the weird little pins there. You can also make the pins a little more like uh, jumper wires there. But in any case, let's get right to it. So yeah, there's a 1000 ohm resistor. Long lead the anode up there. Short lead the cathode right there. You got to put the LED in the right way or it won't light up. So yeah, when I close the switch, there's our direct uh, path right there. 
And um, then we got the uh, dial there. So there's a gray band right there. I know you can't really see it. Maybe you can see it a little right there. And uh, so, yeah, that's the anode there. Gray band there is cathode, same thing. It's like the LED, you got to put it in the right way. And uh, 1000 ohm resistor, the LED uh, going to ground. But also, we have the capacitor, or the LED, sorry, the diode right there, rectifier diode, coming to the uh, capacitor. This is a polarized capacitor. You got to put it in the right way. So that uh, uh, gray bar right there, or uh, I should say the black little bar there, and then the gray arrows, that's the uh, the negative side. This also has a shorter lead for the negative side, longer uh, lead for the positive side. That is if you do not trim it. Of course, if you cut it, then uh, it doesn't matter anymore which one is longer or shorter. It's whichever one you cut, longer or shorter. So, you know, simple circuit that I just kind of mentioned a lot uh, more of the basic stuff. Um, a lot of people just starting out on electronics try to get uh, started with uh, more complicated circuits for some reason, but uh, it's best to learn with the uh, most simplest circuits and work your way up. It, uh, everything you learn with the very basic uh, circuit applies to the more complex circuits. Just the complex, more circuits have more stuff thrown in. So, in any case, uh, rambled on long enough. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.